Welcome back. What are the bourbon juggies? Today we're gonna to talk about the most interesting bottles that are gonna come out for the rest of this year that we're excited about. Yeah. Before we do that, whoa, our boy Dank. I really thought you were gonna just smash through that. Can you thing. imagine? You caught it so End hard. Of the video. This is uh, Sean Dankers. Thank you, buddy. He spells for the it the support. right way too. Thank you for the love. Appreciate your shelf back here, right dead center. If we're being honest, you probably got the best shelf in the whole place. And it was all random. It was random. I haven't, even though people don't believe me, I videotaped myself putting them up so people would have to believe me because I could post <laughs> the video. It's on my computer, swear to God. Set them all face down and just picked one in. Yep. All Cheers. right. Cheers. Thank you, buddy. He's uh, SJ. giving us quite a bit of Bowman, truly. Yeah. Well, he's in Virginia. So. Huge fan yeah. of Bowman Single Barrel. All right, speaking of bottles we're huge fans of. There's a lot of them. A lot well, of them coming out. I don't know out. if we're going to be huge fans of okay. any of them in so, theory. So, shout out to Breaking Bourbon. We seal off their list on this stuff a lot. And this year feels like it's the most comprehensive, biggest list ever. I think it's called sourcing, but yeah. I know, but like... Like we source from their list. I Okay, it's whatever. The word. We use their list, so thank you for that. Steal. Anyways, we like, steal. look back through the like last couple of years and how much that list just keeps... You think it's getting bigger? Yeah. Yeah. It feels ginormous. Well, this year. okay. To be fair, this year they put every good times release on it. Needless to say, a lot of releases this year. Yes, a lot. A lot. Sean so just me and, me and Dan me. <laughs> just kind of went through and kind kind of picked our like favorites of the ones that we're looking forward to. These are the things we want to drink or are just intrigued by. Yeah. Intr these are intriguing releases. There's actually quite a few of them. So. That are just intriguing. We're gonna leave off the Buffalo Trace Antique Collection because Obviously. everybody knows it's coming out. They'll probably all be fantastic, I'm sure. I would expect no less. Yep. The Pappy Van Winkle Vertical, also not on the list. Probably fantastic, is almost every year. It pr Realistically, even the bad ones are good. Yeah. We look forward to drink those. That's, how, that's where we'll yeah, end it. Yeah, those will be cut. Great. All right, okay. first one. Let's go. Bardstown Disco number 11. Already out, haven't drank it. Haven't got to try we it yet. We do have one. Just talk to our boy Ron, he's not gonna here. get us one. Oh, we already paid for one. It's just not here. Didn't know that. I will now call Ron hey, back Ron. and say, never mind. We, we got love one. you. <laughs> um, but yeah, not here yet. Uh, cool mash bills, it kind of looks first, like. Really good age statements. First disco ever to be all Kentucky whiskey. Yeah. Which is really cool, actually. Yeah. Um, don't have to worry Wait, about is that some. Really true? Yep. Don't have to worry about some of the things we're not madly in love with, right? Why do I feel like two was all Kentucky? I was just told that. I don't know. Oh, you're probably. I was right. just told that. Yeah. I don't even remember who. Okay. I feel like it might have been someone adjacent to Ron. I don't know. Could have probably right. Probably could have been a homeless guy on the street. As we sit here and talk <laughs> Anyways, about it. Anyways, we thought Disco Ten was a big uh, turn back in the right Ten direction was for us. Interesting. Well. Like, like six and seven weren't big fans. Eight, nine, ten all got better. So, you know, 11, what are you shooting for you? Eight was, if 11 is anywhere near as good as eight, it's done. They did it. Mm -hmm. It's got their whiskey in it for the first time ever. Usually yep. they were doing that with the Fusion series, but their stuff's older now. So their whiskey, the first time ever it's in there. And then two legacy distilleries in there. Very cool to, at very high ages, which is yep. awesome. So before we get back into the rest of that video, we got to talk about today's sponsor. And it's one that you and we all know and love. Visky is taking care of us today. Huge shout out to Visky for working with the channel as always. They've been great. Listen, Visky is a premium glassware company. It genuinely does matter. You do have a different experience based on the glass you're using when you're drinking whiskey or cocktails or wine or beer or any of it, right? If you go to Visky, they have tons of different glassware, tons of different options for every single experience you're gonna have. If you want whiskey, the Visky glass, best swirling glass on the market. If you want a nice, classy feeling, like take all the ethanol off the nose from the whiskey or the spirit, these Alchemy glasses are fantastic. They have some really cool rocks glasses. The Meridian glasses look super, super fancy. They got a cool base on them. So if you go over there and use code BourbonJunkies15, you get 15% off of your order right off the website. Ship it directly to you. Honestly, really nice feeling glassware, nice and heavy glass. It's fantastic. So check out some of the best glassware you can pick up for your drinking experience. Literally just fill up your cabinets with them and take 15% off while you do it. Huge fan of Visky ourselves. Thank you again to Visky for working with the channel. Appreciate the hell out of you guys. You, you, you got to try every glass. You got to try every glass. It's like a Pokemon. Catch them all. Cheers. Look you want to talk them. about some very high ages? E-Rare 25. I you know what? We want to talk about VTAC and stuff. <laughs> 
But we gotta talk about them coming out with an SRP bottle of $10,000. I wonder if this is the highest SRP in bourbon of any American whiskey ever. Um, I would imagine so. It's gotta be close. I because they did the the Pappy like twenty five a few years back, and I don't think it was ten grand. There was a Pappy twenty five. Remember, it was like black. Oh yeah, a long a while a long yeah, time ago. A, yeah, many yeah, many yeah, years yeah. ago. Okay, this have, I was like, damn, I missed a whole. Okay, many yeah, yes. years ago they did this. I don't That's think that was one. even ten thousand dollars. I didn't know. This has got to be highest SRP of any American spirit. Also coolest ball shape I've ever seen in my life. It looks it looks very throwback to some old cool decanters. Yeah. Did you know the wings on it are made of silver? Cool, man. It That's better be so platinum cool. for $25,000. <laughs> Maybe it is. Maybe It's going to be twenty five. It's so cool. Because there's only 200 bottles of it. Yeah. But it's 10 grand. And it's yeah. probably like 101 proof or 90 proof. One of the two, I'd bet. I think it's 101. So 25 year old. Coolest bottle, very cool. Still has something I believe inside of the bottom of the bottle, just like Eagle Rare or Double Eagle, very rare. Also ten thousand dollars and untouchable. Even if you had the money, gonna be hard to get one. So, okay. moving on. I haven't helped. Another high end statement. Eighteen year. I don't know. I'm looking forward to it. I don't know if it said what the mash bill was. I don't think it's gonna be the mellow corn that it was like last year. I enjoyed the 20 really? year Heaven Hill uh, Heritage. Dan did not. We both agree that the 18 was very, very good. The first year that they 17. did it. Was it seven? Yeah. Oh, you're right, it's 17. 17 was good. Um, and now this being an 18 year expression. This one's I a hopes. small batch though. The 17 was single barrels. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know, but the, I have no clue about the mellow corn one because it was bad. If you serve me mellow corn at 20, I don't care if up. it's 40 years old. I enjoyed it. it I didn't was think it was awful. the best thing in the world. I don't think it was the, best value for the price tag, I but I enjoyed it. Even a limited product. Like that's the craziest part about it. They had a lot of 20 year uh, mellow corn. They were like, <laughs> get rid of it. A lot of 20 <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm hoping that's good. The 17 was good. I think this is a bourbon. This yeah. should be good. I okay. Imagine. And then move into wild turkey. We got, uh, this one is already out. This is out. Uh, Generations. Hot topic. Very hot topic. Hot this topic. is the, the first bottle to have Bruce Russell's name on it. Yep. So big deal there. You got all three generations. This is the first ever to have the every working generation at the distillery. Yep. So cool. wild stuff going on. That's very cool. But Campari throwing out that four hundred and fifty dollar price tag, four seventy five, whatever it was. Very high proof for them. What was one twenty one, one twenty point eight. Oh, that's not what I thought. So it was. it's very high proof for them. I mean, okay. normally their stuff's obviously one tens, one sixteens, the highest I think. Okay. So that's cool, and it's very old. It's like 9, 12, 15, 16, or 14, yeah, 15, or like something some like that. It's very old. double digit yeah. statements on there. And, you know, Bruce, Eddie, Jimmy. Honestly, from, I think I, from the standpoint of like the story, that's yeah. the coolest bottle they've ever put out. I think so. The uh, high, it, high proof, all yep. the generations, very cool, but. But price tag kind of makes me step back just a little bit. Should have been under the Russell's label. 100%, no. we, we had talked about that, um, and I, I agreed on that. People I, wouldn't complain. It should have been another yeah. Russell thing. Just make it Russell 2005 or whatever, you know. Do a cool, make a new bottle, get a box. Sure. Make it cool. Yeah. Uh, I think under the Russell's label, people complain. Now, Sean and I haven't had it. I've heard it's good though. I've heard, I've, I've, heard I've, good been, things. I've not heard that anybody say that it's not good. Yeah. I've just heard people say, I don't know. Even I have drank it in 450s a lot. You know, Voyage was a lot at 300. Nice catch. But. I, I truly did love Voyage, like honestly. Yeah. And I've heard that it, I've heard one person say it's worse than Voyage. I've heard one person say it's way better, better than Voyage. Yeah. So who knows? But if you see one at a like, bar, it'd be worth trying, I think. Taste is subjective. No, that's not true. You're yeah. wrong. And we're right every okay. single time. Okay. Somebody's going to take that seriously and leave a comment. Yeah. Yep. Can't wait. Okay. This one is on this list because, number one, for the first time ever, we had a snowflake at Pours in the Park. We did. Uh, from Strain of Hands, a snowflake release. Never had one before. Very limited. People line up for miles down the road in front of the Strain of Hands distillery for yep. these every year. There you always get the picture of like the line of cars. But our, our good boy. friend, our our guy, mm -hmm. the one of the most whiskey purest people I've ever met in my life. 100%. Very intelligent man and extremely good at distilling Justin. That was at Valentine is now at Strain of Hands. Yep. This is his first blended snowflake release. Yeah. I am very excited. I'm so excited for that. Um, what he did at Valentine with the black label blends was absolutely phenomenal and awesome and often very unique and interesting. Yeah. Often like wild MGP products. And if you um, att attended Pours in the Park last year, well, I guess two years ago, however you want to look at it, um, we did a Valentine bottle mm -hmm. and it was mixed with MGP and then uh, another barrel of his distillate, yes. which was a low, low entry proof um, six year product. Yes. It was absolutely fantastic. The best, the best six year old whiskey I've ever had came from Justin's 
Justin distilling. Yeah. The best six year old I've ever had, period. So yeah, we're very excited to see what he's gonna be doing yes. with uh, some different sure. stocks and different profiles and having a cool- And it's single. Cool, like just go do whatever. Yeah. This is our limited of the year. Let's do mm -hmm. some cool stuff. Yeah, they picked the right guy. He's very good at blending. Yeah. I just, that's just like a near and dear. That's like I'm rooting for him. Yeah. Thing. You know what I mean? Okay. But, this is this is you. I think this is the coolest marketing in the whole world, and it's real. Like yep. that's it's just it's interesting marketing, also not fake. They ben, didn't have a boat. Ben, they, dude, fuck a boat. Fuck a boat. Who cares about driving stuff around in trailers? Yeah. Ben Holiday has a freaking cave. Like, an, this is real. An ancient one. This is actually it. real. Their distillery. Ryan was explaining this to me, and he had mentioned this, which is yeah. why I had looked it up. Um, there is a cave at Ben Holiday and they put barrels in it. Uh -huh. That is freaking awesome. So, <laughs> I mean, so cool. I had talked about it a little bit and I said, it makes sense because of like your tempor temperature fluctuations in a cave, not that high. Sure. Good humidity, depending on where you're at. But cold, It yeah. usually. It, you know, it could be. Cellar. Could be a cellar Major age Mark thing, cellar. we don't know. But it could be also like a warmer, warmer cave system sure. and just stick around that like 70 degree mark. That'd they're, be kind of cool. A, they're in a pretty tempered climate. Missouri? It's, it's warm. Yeah. Ben Holiday Ancient, what is it? Ancient Cave ancient Spiral cave. Cut is the name of it. The Ancient Cave is a series from Ben Holiday. Okay. I'm assuming the spiral cut is either like a wave stave barrel. That's what I was or, thinking. Or, yeah, or spiral inside the, some finishing toasting, yeah. something like that. I didn't even think of that. Makes me very interested. spiral stage. Yeah, super intrigued by it. Um, I don't know when it's out. Ryan was telling me about a Ben Holiday cave release this weekend. And yes. so then I had to look, I was like, I can't forget a cave release. I don't yeah. know if I ever will be able to. Then we have Woodford Batch Proof, which we're normally very just, large fans of that. Yeah. We feel the last two have kind of went down a little bit. And just still just it on just board with trying it, every it one is. of them. We, we always will try them because it's one of our like most consistent, like legacy batch proof products, okay. I think. For sure. It's just, um, it's just expensive. Like there's Usually bigger good. variations through like ECVP and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So um, like they're, they're usually pretty solid for yeah. us. Last year was a little bit above of a bummer, but I'm definitely gonna buy it because I want to drink it. Yeah. I'll because try. even the ones that are a little bit of a bummer, I can still sit around and I drink and I'm like, that was just great. Expectations are kind of like an ECVP batch C or like just almost yeah. any state junior batch at this point. You're yep. just like, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Hopefully I was in good. for those. Yeah. Yep. All right. Now, we've already talked about this before in a podcast. A long time this ago. Is, this has been bottled. This release is, there was a picture that got leaked mm -hmm. of the bottling line. Mm -hmm. And the label's running through bo glass bottles full of whiskey from Old Forester 19, what is it, 24? 24. 1924. 1924. I know absolutely nothing about it, except that I want to drink it. Uh, there was that whole controversy that they didn't have distilled by and stuff like that. So At they Old Forester? Yes, yeah, so they think it was like a blend of someone else's oh, whiskey with theirs. One. Yeah, yes. yeah, I forgot all so about that. So there, there's some, some controversial things that were going on when the, the label first hit the TTB. Yeah. I don't care, it sounds amazing. I think, I, man, I could be wrong. I think a bunch of it got cleared up by Old, I old think Old Forester came out and they were like, hey, yeah. idiots, you know what I mean? This yeah, is yeah. what it is. It's usually how that works. It is theirs, I believe it's all theirs, but it is a blend. I don't, I just, listen, anything you add to that whiskey row, just sign me up. Yeah, 100%. anything in the like whiskey the, row. The line, row is probably good. one of. We just talked about consistency. Yeah, I mean, same parent company, but yeah. um, the row is probably one of the most consistent shelf products in bourbon. I Period. believe. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. And from a val, I mean, just relatively cheap. Yeah, find it in every state. I was in that forty-five to sixty mark yeah. for the entire row. Always fantastic. Love them. A real restockable product right there. All right, next we got three more. One you're not looking forward to. I can guarantee it. This is the, the Masters Collection from Woodford this year, which is gonna be a triple Sonoma staved one. So it is um, wine and brandy. Hopefully it's good. I, it'll be 150 bucks, it'll be 90.4 proof, and it'll be pretty fine. Yeah, but my okay, they, they do do very, very well, I think, when they put out stuff at 90.4 proof or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then they do really good finishing. I like, I love the brand. That brandy cask was one brandy of my favorite. In the Genie bottle, love yeah. it. Love Woodford it so Double much. Oak, what, super consistent. I always love it. Woodford Double Oak. Yeah. This is not. I'm like, that's your Double Oak. It's, it's a finishing. Oh, it's finishing. So okay. this is a finishing cask, I would say. I know, but Double Oak's like, what, 50 bucks? Yeah. You're allowed to even fuck that one <laughs> up a little bit. <laughs> like I, I think they consistently pump out very good finished products. I'm hoping so, because we're going to end up finding one for 150, buying it, and I'm just crossing my fingers. Crossing my fingers, it's yeah, good. Historic Entry Proof was good. 
Not yeah. finished. Very good, yeah. honestly. Like truly a special port. They had port. great H Damon on it. Yeah. yeah. Special port, 90 proof for real. Yeah. I, right. I don't know. I always have high hopes of the Masters Collection. As long as it's we not like do. chocolate malted rye. Oh my gosh, dude. And then we can go to uh, last two. Last two. Same distillery. Kind of. Two distilleries, one glass. Oh, now I see what you're saying. Angels Envy Cast Strength. That's nice. Also. Already bought one. Already overpaid for it. Already don't care. Oh my gosh, they're so. Yeah, they're. Yeah, listen, they're good. It they, went up. It went up a little bit. It's 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 gone up a very reasonable amount, truly. I think it's like when we first started buying them, they're around that 175 mark, um, and then they've creeped up to like 200. This year is where well, you have 230 oh, wrote maybe. down. Okay, yeah, 230. The the first one I ever bought was 200. Yeah. Ever, and it was when we were closing like four years ago, and we were finishing the house. Yeah. I found it and I bought it. We've never had it before, and I bought it as like a celebratory. No, we've like, never owned a bottle before. We have had it before. We have had it. We had it. Before. Oh, okay. We just never owned a bottle of it. Oh, before I didn't that. even know that I'd had it. That was the one that changed my mind on it, and was like, yes, it's oh. worth that premium price tag, and we started buying them. Okay. Consistently after that. So, they're often good. They are truly often always good. good. Um, listen, a thirty to fifty dollars price range over four or price increase over four years is not bad at all. Yeah. Right now, you know what I mean. I do believe I had them in my top five last year for my top ten. We had a different top ten, nah. and they were in my top five. I, I love it. I love everything about it. It's a fantastic pour. It is, I mean, there's a bunch. Love, we like yeah, them. if you love finished um, stuff heavily, like that. heavily, you finished. need to like heavily, finished. heavily finished, heavy dessert in a glass, but a cast strength. I think it's one yeah. of the best standalone expressions in that like market. Oh, interest. That's a hot. That's a that's a big take, take to the bank. A hot take. All right. Well, speaking of Angels Envy, they're releasing a rye that was finished in Sauternes cask under yeah. their cellar collection esque or whatever they're calling it now. Yeah. But um, their cellar collection series is a rye finished in Sauternes. Not excited for that one. Didn't you tell me about the Sauternes barrel? Mm -hmm. About that conversation? Yep. That when I saw Sauternes, I'm like, let's see, you know, there's people saying Sauternes is a good finishing I've option. I had some people that have uh, expressed a high degree of interest yep. in us doing something in a Sauternes finished barrel through Virtue. Finished rise are usually very good. He had pitched it so. as it is not a very like um, heavily saturated market right now, Sauternes, but he mm -hmm. said, I think it produces one of the best finishes. So. And we and like finish rise usually. He was a very usually. big wine guy. We do so. So, you know. um, the cellar collections have almost all been really good. Yeah, truly. I but I think I'm, I'm the least excited name. about no, that, this one. Yeah, no, it's just cellar collection. You used to have to be in like the what was it? The Angels Main Main 101. Yeah, you used to have to be in that to get these. I don't think so much anymore that yeah. they do it that way. But they did change their bottle. They did. Forgot about that. Shifted away from the box. Yeah, good did idea. The, cool, the wings on the back. The new bottle looks. Absolutely incredible. Like yeah. truly limited product. Uh, it's truly. a little bit of a bummer. I did love the box, but like after a while you're like, I've got so many bottles and stuff. Sure. Everyone gets rid of their box. Yeah. Having a cool bottle versus cool box. It's like, I always better. go bottle. The Mizunara, which was the worst angels they've ever released ever on the planet. Best bottle though. Was the most beautiful Damn decanter down. of all time. So, now, while I'm I looking say, forward to the Sauternes. It's 2.30 as well. The, um, the, they, just, they did the Frosted Glass one. That one was a rye as well. Was it? Yeah, and it wasn't as sweet as the rum one. Was it the ice cider cast? Frost, like ice yeah. frost, yeah, some whatever. Yeah, some, yes, I, I think they, they, they put their ryes in a very sweet place though. Sure, that, that one wasn't anywhere. The rum one is, is, I don't know what the intent of it is, but it is a cocktail already in the bottle. Yeah, it, it's, is. it tastes like it has sugar added. Anyways, but. let us know what you guys are looking for the most yeah. down in the comments below. Do it. Bourbonjunk.com slash shop for merch too. And uh, shout out to Visky again out. for these glasses. I, I love it. Cheers. Best SJ in the game. <laughs> we stole that from Matt. Yeah. Now that's stealing. That's stealing. That's stealing. <laughs>